Hello everyone, I'm Timoteo. And I'm George. And, and we are Vintage Doll Hunters. Hunters. On this channel, we will be discussing and reviewing what we found on our latest Vintage Doll Hunt, sharing with you our opinions and our knowledge. We provide you, the audience, quality information based on our seven, almost eight years of collecting experience, either from the homes of others or from our own collection. So join us as we reveal what we found today. Let's get started, guys. Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, today, we're bringing you some wonderful vintage finds, doll yes. finds, that we can't wait to share with you. Uh, there were some hunts that we went and searched for. I think some were for Mesa. Yes, the one was Mesa, for Mesa. Mesa. Yeah, so they're all like, uh, we're, we're just so excited. It's all unique, so I guess uh, let's get started. Okay, well, the first hunt was here uh, in a local thrift store that we had uh, just occasionally just went out randomly, you know, on our days. Usually we don't go out during the week, but we did. And we came across, when I looked at the bag, uh, first nothing, and we went, uh, looking around to, it was like an accessory where uh, arts and crafts part of the thrift store was, and lo and behold, through that bag, I saw a Nancy Ann storybook what? doll. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and alongside, I believe uh, next to her is a, uh, was it an ideal Revlon doll? They Miss Revlon. Like, yeah, yeah. Miss, oh, there you go, George. The Miss Revlon, Revlon yeah. doll. And, and, and this one, I, I, I am sure, is the Miss... Uh, Nancy Andall, yeah, uh, which is uh, the other part of I think it was the 1958 1960s where these two dolls came out. Well, let's open this up real quick. Yeah, please. Found in this little thing. It's always fun when you find a package in groups like this. You could tell it came from a collector because it came in a and it's a box. <laughs> these thrift stores they really make sure they uh tighten it up. All right, well, let's go ahead and pull this out with the bag. Let's get rid of it. Let's take a look at her, um, pure little Nancy uh, Ann style. Check real quick. I think her. Oh yeah, Nancy Ann. It says Nancy Ann on head. the back of her oh, head. Oh, she has she some doesn't green have a neck. Her neck kind of pops in there. She has the green around her ears, but she's still oh. great condition regardless. Does she have her course. earrings still in her? No. Okay, well that's good. They removed them. Now it's a good thing for us because then they won't keep um, oxidizing and causing more green. Let's take a real quick look at her. Yeah, look at her little style of her dress. These uh, little uh, coat uh, dresses that they would always make were always so fun. This one almost looks like it's inside out because the button's on the on the wrong side. So I think maybe whoever dressed her probably dressed her inside no. out. No, that's nope. the way it goes. That's the way a button is. Oh well, that's the way it goes. I think came they, with yeah. the, the little bell. Let me check her out. I wanted to see if she she sure does. A lot of these dolls have these really uh, sexy tight tight fitting underwear. Sexy. Hers, well, I call them sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those days, um, she. Uh, Still looks like her elastic's still around her. I don't want to pull those down. So if anything, I will keep her like that. It looks almost like her I hair is backwards. still somewhat set. It probably just over the years of being stuck in that box or, you know, cupboard or closet, wherever it may have been. What's that doll? Um, oh, and this is a second doll. Let's check her out. Like I said, when I saw them through the bag, they look similar, but I believe she's a Miss Revlon uh, doll. Um, I really she can't looks like see. her. She really does. She's from if anything, if she would be from Ideal. She would be coming out the same time that the Miss Nancy uh, doll had came out in the 1958, 1960 era. Um, that was basically when uh, these two dolls were at their primes. Maybe we should switch dolls because I'm the blonde, you're the brunette. Oh God! There we go. Yeah. So what about this? What's all this stuff right here? Oh, let's look at these. look at all these goodies. Oh, it wasn't just the dolls. This. Can they? Should they sit on or? They should I think be they fun. bend. Yeah, they, just, no, I, I, they don't have. I hope they, they don't break have, on camera. Yep, they, they have a little twist and turn. No, good waists. If you could uh, hear oh, that. Oh, painted toenails. How cute. The twist and little turns. You can sit her She's down. hard plastic. She has down. rooted hair. She has a sleepy eye. Yep. Oh, these dolls again. Alert with these dolls when you like storm or whatever. Do not lay them down with their eyes closed because the weights. This, the way in which their eyes close over time, their eyes can start to sink. So you should always have them propped up instead it's, it's of eyes like she's, shut. She's like that Miss. Uh, it's really good Miss vinyl. Barbie with the same similar eyes that open and close. From this is really Barbie. good, a really good vinyl, by the way. Like the way they made the dolls out of. Oh, that seems very decent. I'll just lay her down for a second. Sure. Okay. Well, let's go through this little clothes real quick. It looks like there's like a little nighty that Cute. goes uh, for. Uh, looks like another little 
party dress. Cute. Almost does it look handmade or it looks a little bit more factory made? No, it's factory. Yeah, made. it looks factory made. So I'm not it's sure. It could really be either Miss Revlon or once again. It has it the same style snap as that one, so it probably belongs to the doll. Yeah, but just because they have them dressed in here doesn't mean that these clothes. But that is, I'm so, what I'm saying is they have the same type snap. I don't know if you're hearing me. The same, like you see how you said you said that is inside oh, out. Oh, it looks like it was inside out. So either someone, the in person, made them, or yeah, she can't sit down and she's yeah, exposing herself. Well. So another really little is. cute. It looks like an orange ensemble. That's cute. A little skirt, a little top. What's the button like? Is it the same? No, it's no, different. different. It's different. That's and cute then, though. Look at a little shawl to go over to oh, finish all up. That, yeah. yeah. The outfit there, a little red, white, and a blue dress. Once again, I think these are red and white factory. You said red, white, and blue. Oh, it is blue. I didn't see the blue. <laughs> I just oh, saw the color blind. No, I didn't, I didn't see the. Oh, sorry. Blind. Here you go. That's cute. Oh, another similar dress. Oh, it is the similar dress. You got two now. So it's not handmade. No. Told you. And there's a little, what is this? Oh, a little like, kind of muff. The first a little the first fur. stole muff. Yeah. Not a stole, stole goes around, right? This is more like just muff. a hand warmer. A little hand warmer. Yeah. Hand warmer. <laughs> Look here, little pink dress and the sweaty. Because there's two. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wonder if they got each. them for one for each. There you go. They could go as twinsies. Sister sister. But I, I I do believe though that this is the Miss Revlon and then this one is the Miss She looks Nancy totally like Miss Revlon, I believe uh, you. Yeah, because I didn't see when I was looking. I didn't see any mark. Well, what's this right here? Except for I, I think it says ideal. My eyes. No, it doesn't say ideal. I was looking at it. It didn't say ideal. No, oh. no, it doesn't. I have really good eyesight. Uh, Close up. Not looks like we got some <laughs> accessories to go along with this little fun pack. So they're shoes. So here's. Look thing. at the shoes. They're like huge. They're like they're big feet. They're feet. I don't know if you can see them, but. They're huge. I don't think they can see them. Oh, well, <laughs> they're tiny. Size. Oh, they fit kind of, but they seem like they'll snap. Oh, you yeah. See, and that's another one of those things where things are stored away for so long. The plastic starts to harden Keep up there. and like, the moisture goes out. Wow. So they don't have that give anymore. Well, here are earrings. And neither right do. Here. Neither. Oh, wow. A red oh. pair and a couple white pairs. Well, actually, only two white pairs. And well, they don't have any like give. One. And it's like oh, when you little little put bit. the shoes on these hard uh, dolls. They tend to snap, so be very That's careful nice. with accessories. Um, a trick that I like to try to do is put them in really hot, warm water just to loosen that back up, just to give them that little play. Um, if you want to dare try that. And is this little case, is it a nice little vintage case? I don't know what it is. We gotta look it up, pray for like some old perfume or something fun. Um, and then a little box. So cool. let's put that little fun stuff back, but I did want to show one more. Uh, item uh, from the Nancy Ann storybook, which I actually had one already that I had found in Peoria, Arizona, and she came in her little box, and she's uh, very similar to the brunette doll, but she's a blonde one, but uh, one problem with her is, uh, well, a couple problems with her, is her box is a little tattered, and she had this blackness happened to her legs, so I'm not sure. That's uh, not what, black, that's like gray. Yeah, it's like the uh, bottom portion of her body, uh, just the leg part, had turned this, like I said, like, like a gray zombie Jesus. color. But the rest of the body, uh, fine, must have been most likely made from different plastic. These are really hard plastic vinyl uh, legs, so they don't bend, so they must most likely been like carved out or molded. But yeah, this one, uh, once again, has the green in her ear. When I found her, she had earrings uh, in her ears. I put mine in a little uh, napkin. She came with her shoes and some sunglasses uh, that were really neat because I like those little cat eyes, similar to, you know, Barbie's look. But it's funny that these came out in 58, 59, and there you go, a snapped shoe. Uh, like I said, these things are very finicky when it comes to uh, trying to put them on. So if they don't go on, don't force it on. And she still has her little rubber band set, but this is the blonde version uh, and the brunette version of the Miss Nancy Ann storybook uh, dolls that go back quite and a while. And this is their their third cousin twice removed from ideal. Well, no, it, you, you don't know it. Well, it, 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 it looks like the ideal red one. It could be a clone. It, it, it's well. a it's a it's a it's educated guess. It's an educated. It says W I in the back. Wow. Yeah, I can see it clearly. It says W I. 
Yes, Can Miss Nancy that harder much? was a very was a very popular Here, doll. Miss Nancy Ann uh, dolls were very popular. She came out in the nineteen forties. She had little uh, ceramic was it uh, bisque bisque dolls that were uh, molded head to the body, little uh, jointed, uh, little arms, little four and a half to five and a half inch dolls, and then moved on from there to what we see now. To seven and a half inch dolls. Uh, said, well, she's actually a ten and a half inch. Uh, she's seven doll. and a half. No, they're all the same size, George. They're ten and a half That's inches. That's not ten. She's not taller than Barbie. She's ten and a half inches. Barbie is eleven and a half. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you're wrong. I think you have too much knowledge of dolls. Can we move on to the next thing? CP man. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, let's move away from Miss Nancy Ann. Let's bring it back to Miss Nancy Ann. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. <laughs> Next we got, hold on right here, someone misorganized my stuff over here. This is this is from Remco, this is Tim's fault, no this is Tim's fault, this is from Remco 1969, this is the Tom Link Tomboy, and then basically she's a mechanical sort of doll, the company produced a lot of toys, uh, was on 19, founded in 1940s and produced a lot of mechanical sort of toys, so this was a product of theirs, uh, let Tim fire it up for you. Oh, this was her little purse. Exactly. Let's show you real quick. I'm not sure why they gave her a pocketbook when she was a tomboy, but they had to do something, I guess, girly. So let's go ahead and get it going. She go flip around and she's gonna move her car. Move your car! <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe her tires are a little stuck there, but she moves her little curry tail. She was doing it earlier. She, she was. She was going. Quick. Go, girl, go, go. Come on, tires. Come on. Don't fall off. Oh, here she goes. There she goes. Look at her go, look at her go. Oh, you don't push her off the table. There, there she goes. we go, one loop around. Maybe it's pushing on the battery. Oh. There we go. There we go, yeah, look how fast she's going. It's like lightning speed. Okay, so so this is this is the doll, and she also is able to go um, she's, she's able to go backwards, but her arms are strong enough to push her backwards. Yeah, this one. Age. And then also, I know she. Uh, you can also remove her from this go cart, and she can tumble herself forward and backward. But this one doesn't have enough strength to do that because, no. of course, of her over years of wear and whatnot. Just so, having fun tumbling around, doing handstands. I left her having a good seated separately so she wouldn't be exposed. I felt bad because she doesn't wear my put, apron on. We'll put her little muffin or muffin. That's <laughs> that's inappropriate, but okay. Okay, we'll put it back. Oh Jesus! What did, I get, what did I get myself into? <laughs> Let's move on. To, do you want to talk about this doll or more of the company? Okay, well, it was made from Remco. I said Y'all that already. That. Yeah. <laughs> Remco's a very big uh, toy factory uh, that w they produced uh, Star Trek back in the day. They had toys. Uh, walk the talkies, like you said. <laughs> they did battles. It was a submarine from a, a, a movie below Thousand Leagues Under the Sea, I believe the movie was. So they made many, many toys. They had an aircraft that they created. Things that you could uh, play with and interact with, battery-powered operating devices, lights. A uh, real big thing that I thought was exciting, they did a drive-in uh, back then with its own little setup with little parking lot, movie screens, the movie, a light projector, battery-operated. They did quite a bit of different things, uh, Remco, back in their day, and I believe they went bankrupt in 1971 area and were picked up by someone else and produced on and on late into the 90s or in the mid-90s. Wow, fascinating. Yes, and that's that. But yeah, this is one of their fun <laughs> creations. Uh, like I said, they really had a whole uh, thing where Remco, where they had a slogan where they said basically like uh, Remco or the the toys for boys. Uh, Remco is the toys for boys and girls too, somewhat in that nature. I'm not sure if I got that right, but they were really pushing for the. You know what she looks like? like that as she well. looks like um, that girl from Finding Nemo, the one that keeps tapping on the fish tank in a dentist's office. That is exactly what she looks like. Well, actually, I guess she looks like her. What was and there was and then she also had a black uh, version of her which was made what did we say the the brown eye uh, collection that was uh, done there was a, a little uh, version of her and there was an artist that actually created the look of her a, a, a and what was it Anna Anna Anuel I can't remember her her name right now darn it it was like Anuel like Manuel but yeah. Anuel Anuel and what was her last name I don't, I don't remember, know. I remember her first name <laughs> yeah so she was the, one of the designers she's on the box I believe the the the, the name of the lady for the black version oh, of brown what a cool doll I think it's a very very um very unique doll 
Yeah, very innovating. She's like me. Innovative. So, so innovative. Look at how fast back and forth. Look at her go, ooh. But yeah, that's the little fun with Miss uh, Tumbling Tomboy. And she, well, like I said, she does flip, but in this case, she doesn't really do them anymore. No, I'm moving her arms because her arms are stuck back here. <laughs> well, she, <laughs> she, she, be, <laughs> she should be flipping around and doing handstands and all that. But like I said, maybe I need to take her apart and play with her, tighten up some screws up in there. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Probably. Let's move on to the next doll. <laughs> that doll, she was wonderful. So our next doll wow. is gonna, wait, oh, let me get her. The best friend, Cynthia doll. I think this all belongs to her, right? That's who we found in Mesa. Oh, this is one from Mesa. A flea, this, was this, in the flea this is, the, this is a, a Mattel doll. She's very tall, as you can tell. I think she's like 19 inches or like that 18 inch size. Like those Chrissy yeah. kind of size yeah. dolls? Yeah, exactly. A Chrissy. Perfect reference. Chrissy sized doll. But she doesn't have the growing hair. But you said Chrissy size. Oh, size. I didn't say Chrissy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, oh, I think her voice is supposed uh, to be a little higher. That was actually, she, she said, said she has some cigarettes. She said, <laughs> <laughs> no, she sounds possessed. She said, she, I don't know if you guys heard her, but she said, could, I have to baby me my sister. Could you come over and help me bake some cookies for the bake sale? Damn, that took her a long time to say that. <laughs> what did you say? I have to babysit tonight. Um, could you come over and help me bake some cookies for the bake sale? That's fine. That does not make any sense, but okay. Hit her again. She makes it. Oh, she said, she said, let's have a slumber, George. she said, let's have a slumber party Friday night and let's come over so we can make a list of who to invite. Not you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and the way uh, George is able to operate this doll is they actually have a little push button that is behind her. We're wrong with the battery, but there's this little button you push. That's a phone ringing. And then after um, you are done with her and you want to, you know, change out a little disc, you push the button in and hold it there. You're going to hear that uh, moving around. But then you tilt her sideways and you see she has a little piece of her dress where you unbutton it, you hold that down and hit it kind of sideways and the little record comes, comes out. Yeah. And then you are able to exchange them out. Yeah, she's very cool. I'm feeling her and like her, her legs are like very strong. But of course, it's Mattel. It's a well-produced, you know, Mattel. It's swell. Yeah, you know, no, it's Mattel. You, you know it's swell. I don't know, George. Fumbly, oh fumbly. my God, you messed it all fumbly, up. Fumbly. But yeah, she's really cool. You look at her face; it's like painted, you know, just like those dolls were in the era, nineteen seventy one. She like came a Barbie. Out. Yeah, just like a Barbie, very like super super sized Barbie kind of esque. More like the what do you call the Malibus? Exactly. That mm -hmm. yeah, she era. comes actually uh, in this original dress and shoes and uh, when you when you purchase her. And that's it. And they on the back of the box, they also show you three other outfits that you're able to purchase as well. And then one of them is yeah. the coat that goes over this, right? Correct. That's one of the outfits, but we don't have that. But then yeah. we do have one of the other it's ones. It's called Fun Day. Mm -hmm. This one's Lively, Stepping Lively, I yeah, That's a cool groovy outfit. I like that one. The little top, the bottom, little zipper, little gold button on top. Ooh, I guess the shoes go to it probably too. Fun yeah. purse. Matches. So these are her little accessories for her tall self, almost like the Harmony doll. There you go. Probably her and Harmony can hang out and jam and talk, and Harmony can sing and she can talk. Oh, and here goes her extra little uh, records. Records, and this was a little fun pack. I think it was a record fun pack, uh, and it also was a oh hair fashion fun pack, I believe. You can kind of tilt it up and show you. Came with little extra records. And then came with little hair accessories, right, Mr. George? Yeah, look at all the little hair accessories, like the braids, which are really cute. Um, a lot of these dolls at that time, they had these kind of hair extensions. Look at that. I'm not sure what this is, but it's like a it's like a hat disc, sort of hair disc sort of thing. I think it's supposed to be a bun. Maybe got so maybe you like well yeah maybe you like move the hair all around and put oh, that on top yeah the whole thing like, like, like a very Gaga where you're like in front of half of your face <laughs> I don't know raw that's raw, raw. What Gaga would do look at that oh wow oh yeah. oh, 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 oh um, hair clip I keep saying a Barbie because you know Mattel I love the way they do this Aww, same thing with Barbie so little cute. accessory hair pins on the side there's more than another one right here how cute I love it little ribbons. For her hair. Her hair is actually really nice also condition. came wow. with um, the hair set. It's a little 
scarf tie for her hair. And I believe George showed you all her little fun braids that you would uh, just add to her just to make her look fun and all uh, psychedelic. Isn't that the groovy thing to do back with the Brady Bunch era? Oh. <laughs> and this is her little, uh, <laughs> her little instruction book. Over here, Cynthia instructions, um, basically kind of reviewing everything we uh, basically told you about the doll, about pushing the buttons in and removing the little records out and exchanging them and taking care of your little doll. But she's not little, but yeah. Well, you're little. Yeah, I guess not. She's not that little. little. She's mm -hmm. little, but she's not little. Well, anything else? I think that's it for me. No, I just want to bring out this uh, little Miss Nancy Ann's box as well to say, uh, I Bye. guess that's everything on this video. Yeah, all right, guys. That wraps up this video. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you for joining us for this video. Remember, if you have any vintage dolls up in your attic, down in your basement, or up in your closet, be sure to contact with, get in contact with us, and we'd be able to love to be able to work with you and feature your dolls in our next potential video. We love working with other vintage doll hunters. Uh, we would love to be able to feature more exciting new vintage dolls from yes. 1880 to 1980. Thank you, guys. Um, check out the description below oh, our for Facebook. our... Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Someone likes to jump the gun. Like I was saying in our description below, you can find our contact information on social media from my Instagram to his Facebook or even his eBay account, all that fun stuff. So, But we have a new Facebook uh, that we just started. Our oh, brand it's a business Facebook, page. Our but, brand Facebook business page. But yes, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, so yeah, well, be sure to find that link down below too and like our page and check out our posts, especially with all this fun new stuff we're going to be showing. And happy holidays. I don't know if you guys noticed our red Christmas tree in the background. Happy holidays, you guys. Yes, Have a Merry God, Christmas. God, God, Happy Hanukkah. God. Happy everything. God. Bye, guys. Oh, oh, let's show them. Let's <laughs> show them. Let's do it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs>